Hi Leo, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 17, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Please remember these are just general readings to take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. Okay, uh, if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. So this week, any delays that occur actually in your favor, and I know that's aggravating, but it's true. There is a warning for you to proceed with caution, and you do get what you want, but I have to be honest with you, it's not coming in the form you thought it was, okay? It's also time to make decisions that you've been putting off. Some major changes are ahead. Two signs that may or may not resonate with you guys, Libra and or a Capricorn. So let's jump right into your reading here. Leo, your first card up, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups tells me you're getting ready to reunite with someone from your past. Now, before you say you don't want to reconnect with someone from your past or you've got a particular person, it's not that person. This person you are actually delighted to reconnect with. Okay, catching up on old times is what I'm seeing here. Six of Wands comes in with total victory, complete success. Um... Total victory, success, surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Some of you may be actually be tarot readers. You're surround, you're in the spotlight for some reason. And, you know, for whatever reason, I know Halloween is coming. Some of you are wearing a cape. Okay, so that kind of jumps out as well. With that, we have the Four Cups. The Four Cups comes in with an unexpected offer of love. And I really want to stress unexpected. I think you know who this person is. You just did not really see this coming. Okay. And with that, we have the star coming in with wish fulfillment, but also emphasizing that any, any delays that occur the week of the 17th are actually in your favor. So let me give you an example of when I say that. That means like maybe you're working on a deadline and you're not going to make the deadline. So a couple days are offered. That's what I'm talking about when I say it's in your favor. So, center of the reading, we have the Magician. Just what I said. You get everything you want. This is the highest tarot card in the deck. You get everything you want and you get everything you desire. However, it is coming in a form that you're not expecting. Okay? We have the Three of Swords. Third person, unwanted advice and or opinions. Leo, someone is sticking their nose in your business any way you want to look at it. Page of Cups, someone getting ready to make an unexpected offer of love for you. Now, let me say this. If i got any single Leos out there, you've got more than one expected offer of love, and you've got more than one person watching you, okay? So you've got some options going on there, and there it is. Date night, somebody's getting ready to approach. Happy couple, dinner out, something like that. And we have the sun, as in the sun shines brightly in all that you do. And I think it's beautiful. I'm sitting here looking at your original spread. We're going further with these messages of the, your major arcanas of the star of wish fulfillment. The magician says you get what you want. And the sun, I mean, this is just some beautiful energy surrounding Leo. So let's move forward with us. All right, Leo, you also have the emperor, the dominant, prominent, take charge type person. This is someone that kind of comes in to save the day. And with that, there is the karma card. The karma bus is rolling around, both good and bad. We have on the first unexpected offer of love. If you are juggling financially or you're a little bit out of your comfort zone, uh, on the financial side of things. This is temporary. This is brief and passing. This is news that money will soon come in. You guys have the strength card. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. On that magician, we have the page of cups. There it is. Third offer. Unexpected offer. Could be in love. Could just be of help. And for some of you, a Pisces may or may not resonate. On that three of cups is the knight of pentacles. Okay, who's in your business? Uh, maybe in your finances, maybe looking at where you stand financially. So I want to throw that out there as well, but it could be somebody getting ready to present a good business deal. On that four of cups, we have the knight of swords. These offers of love or someone pursuing you, it has definitely come rushing in. Also indicating a very fast paced, quick moving week for you guys. There it is again. Look, I can't make that up. 
It's a two of cups on top of the two of cups. There is a union in the gathering of two people here. And on the sun, we have, again, the magician. Yes, you are sitting on two magicians throughout this reading. Okay, definitely getting what you want. But like I said, not in the form you expect. And we have the page of wands. So the page of wands comes in with the Sagittarius energy. This is a messenger card. And the message is abundance, the ten of pentacles. Okay, keep your eye on your abundance is what I want to say because it's coming in right beside that three of swords and that knight of pentacles. Now the abundance is not only the highest financial card in the deck, this is everything, family, friends, health, wealth, it's everything, okay? And the message here is to keep your eye on that abundance. So let's make sure that these people that are out offering you love are very genuine and sincere. And like I said, let's also be mindful of that triangle and who's in your business. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings, and I'll see you soon. Bye.